How old were you when you got married? Uh, I was, tw- how old was I, 23? Yeah. Only married a year. We were together for five. I got married when I was 22, mm. and then I was I got divorced at 30, and we were together for 10 years. That divorce wow. is fun shit, isn't it? <laughs> Mine was pretty simple. Was it? Oh, yeah. He fucked up real bad. Oh, well, and, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it. He actually just got married last Saturday, or this, this past Saturday. Um, he's one of my closest friends, but, yeah, he... <laughs> We, we had a, an interesting night, and I basically took him home and was like, you're taking your shit. You're never coming back here. We're splitting everything down the middle. Bye. But we're fortunate enough to, we didn't have kids in the mix and, right. you know, stuff like that. So mine was not that bad. Yeah. Emotionally, yes, but right. all the rest was not bad. That And you think that started your road to self-discovery? That Ew. experience? <laughs> no? Oh, no. That's when I dropped off the cliff for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, did you get real depressed and stuff? No, I actually... Okay, so we ended up having an open marriage. And through that open marriage, I met somebody. And this, this like when I told you I had my uh, Positive Kink podcast yep. and all that. So I learned a lot about myself um, sexually and then what, what I wanted in a relationship that kind of intertwined with that. And... The person that I found that through, I knew I was meant to be with somebody like that and not necessarily my husband. Now, that didn't end our marriage at all, uh, but that's where I learned that I'm like a submissive in bed and that kind of thing. So after I got divorced, I hunted and searched for that. For that, The bad thing is a lot of men that consider themselves dominant are kind of, well, very narcissistic, manipulative men for the most part. So you get into those relationships and you kind of just, I would hand myself over. I think I was desperate to find a connection and I was upset that I got a divorce. And I just, I'm a jump in the deep end, see if there's water or or if there's concrete at the bottom. (laughs) I'm not a toe in the shallow end person on anything in my life. I get that. Uh, I'm learning. But, yeah, I jumped into some relationships that wrecked me pretty hardcore. And uh, the last one was somebody I actually thought about marrying. And we were together for two years. Found out he was still married. You know, that whole typical Hmm. story. And uh, after that, I was like, okay, Nicole, like something's going on in your brain. And you need to figure it out. And so I decided not to date for a good while went to therapy, and just the tools she gave me, I worked on them and not, I hate the whole I love myself. I fucking hate that. Self-love. Oh my, fuck that. No, are you alive? (laughs) Like, you love yourself. I hate that because it made, made me feel like shit when somebody goes, you don't love yourself. No, I love myself. I get up every day. I work out. I work. I make a living. I love myself. I don't understand myself. Are you hard on yourself, though? You sound like you're hard on yourself. Yeah. That's what that's what I think uh, plant medicine would help you with, to a degree. Because mm. that, that was 100% my view. Really? That's soft. Get the fuck out of here. But I'm a, I've am struggled with depression for a long time. So I've uh, probably racked up somewhere between 40 and 50 concussions from the old game. Jeez. So I've got, like, that CTE type stuff. I'm just trying to figure out how to plow, just keep going. Yeah. Which when you wake up in the morning, you're like, you know, I would have been cool if I didn't wake up today. That's a concern. Mm, a little bit. And you're like, huh, this is weird, or no- nothing's lighting me on fire. I'm not passionate about anything. And I think that the plant medicine helped me realize that everything that's happened to me in my life has brought me to where I am. Mm-hmm. And I'm proud that I'm still here. And I'm proud that I went through all of those things. I used to look back at things like my divorce or other business failings or my athletic career ending not in the way that I wanted it to as failures. Right. And then my my mind has started to change this year where I cut myself a little bit of a break. Okay. I don't not want to be excellent. I'm not I'm not uh, not going for it every day. But I am now just sort of like, well, um, didn't work out like I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. I think um, I think I'm gonna call it a day and go for a walk or work out or watch a documentary, 
and then I'm just going to get up and do this again. And what the way that I used to handle it would just be to just keep just just blindly just blasting forward. Just grinding, more, grinding, grinding. More, more. Work harder, work harder, work out again, do more work, whatever. Yeah. Crash, burn, get back up, start over, which isn't very sustainable. Mm -hmm. So the self-love thing in terms of I am 400 pounds, I never work out, I mainline mayo, I love myself. <laughs> No, hundred percent no. Well, well, okay. So this is where I'll I'll challenge you, and I don't think the the you know love yourself thing is soft. I don't, for the record, I don't. But I think for me, I have to reword it and say, yeah, cool. I do love myself, but I don't understand who I am. And when I went to therapy, it the best way I could describe it, because so many people in my world and my family and kind of, you know, the gym mindset, like they look down on therapy still in a, in a way. And I'm like, but it's not that I was screwed up. It's literally like I went and there were all these puzzle pieces on the table and she just said, okay, let me guide you here. Let me guide you there. And then once after I was done, I don't know, I did 10 sessions or something and not, not that the whole puzzle pieces together or puzzle, but it's so much better than what it was because I'm starting to understand, okay, why did you decide to go on a date with that man? Or why did you decide to go down that road business-wise? And it makes more sense to me now instead of sitting there in the, these feelings of why am I not better? Why am I not working harder? It's like, okay, this is why you did that. So take a step back, chill the fuck out. You're okay. The fact that you're not um, you know, you don't multiple businesses and making millions upon millions is okay. Like you've got all these other great things. So that's why I challenged the you don't love yourself yeah. statement. So there's nothing wrong with that. But. No, no, I feel you. I agree with you. 